Let's imagine you're searching for a local electrician in Google and you come across a business local knowledge panel that looks like this one. As you continue your search, you come across a second local knowledge panel that looks like this one. Which business do you think you're more likely to call? Have you decided yet? Unless I'm mistaken, you've picked the second one and that's the one I would have chosen too. Why? Because this business has enhanced its knowledge panel with lots of quality information, making it a lot more attractive for potential customers to do business with them without even looking at their website. As a business owner, you have the ability to do the same and drive more customer leads by optimizing your Google local knowledge panel in just a few clicks. If you want to know how, just keep watching. Hi, my name is Luke Durand, the founder of rankingacademy.co.uk. If it's your first time here today, why don't you subscribe and click on the bell button before the end of this video so you get notified next time I publish a new one. So I've used the word knowledge panel several times in the introduction of this video. For those of you who are not sure what knowledge panels are, here is the Google definition. Knowledge panels are information boxes that appear on Google when you search for entities such as people, places, organizations, and things. They are automatically generated and information that appears in the knowledge panel comes from various sources across the web. For example, if I search for Leonardo DiCaprio, a knowledge panel for the actor is showing on the right hand side in which you can find a link to an official website, some Wikipedia summary, a snapshot of some of the movies he has been in, some of his quotes, social media profiles and other related searches. Searching for a corporation such as Microsoft will trigger a knowledge panel which includes stock prices, a list of their popular software, a mission statement, etc. Anyone searching for your local business by name will trigger a local knowledge panel which includes information from your Google listing but also information from other sources such as popular times based on visits to your location, relevant reviews collected from other places on the web, social media profiles that can be found for your business and more depending on your business type. Since most of the information in the local panel is driven via your Google My Business listing, there is a lot you can do yourself to make it look a lot richer and entice more visitors to get in touch. Let's start with the first one. By default, most local knowledge panels include a website address, if you filled in the website field when you created your Google listing, a call button and a direction button if you run a brick and mortar location. But depending on your business type, you also also have the ability to add a large blue call to action button like this one. See how it pops out if I compare both listings side by side. Multiple options are available depending on the industry you're in. For example, if you're in the fitness, wellness and beauty business, you can add a book online button. For restaurants, you can add a reserve a table button like this one. For hotels, you have the possibility of adding a book a room button. To display any of these buttons, you'll need to sign up with a scheduling provider supported by Google, which is fairly straightforward. If you need more information on this topic, you can visit the Setup Bookings Through a Provider Google Help page. I'll put the link in the description below. If your business doesn't fit into any of these categories I've just gone through, many of you will be eligible to display a request a quote button. This one is even easier to implement and is activated by simply turning the messaging feature on from your Google My Business control panel. Just log into your dashboard and from the left hand side menu, click on messages, then turn them on. A few minutes later, the button should show up in the panel. You might also want to consider downloading the Google My Business app as it will be easier to respond to customers who message you. Moving on to the next item you can use to enhance your knowledge panel, but many of you overlook attributes. As a business owner, you can choose to add specific attributes to your Google My Business listing to inform visitors about some of your facilities, services you provide, health and safety measures you have put in place, etc. This is very useful to visitors who are likely to make the decision to call or visit you based on some of these attributes alone. Bearing in mind all electricians will visit clients at their home, which one of these two would you feel most comfortable to be in your house? I rest my case. The choice of attributes will be based on your business type. To find out what yours are, log into your Google My Business dashboard and from the left hand side menu, click on info. Scroll down to the section that says from the business and click on the pencil icon which will open a list of attributes available to you. Select the ones you feel are appropriate. Time to bring more life into your panel by adding some images to it and I'm not talking about 
adding images to your business gallery here. I'm talking about creating an entire product section which visitors can scroll through just like for this cake maker, which makes the listing really stand out. Images are a powerful medium, so adding a product section should be a no-brainer. There are so many additional benefits to it beside the visual aspect. It will increase drastically the size of your panel. Visitors will be one click away from buying an item you are selling and also be able to explore categories if you've set some up. Products will be prominently displayed in search results on mobile phones, which is where most of your visitors are likely to find you. Okay, I know what you're gonna say. I don't sell products. To which I will answer, it doesn't matter. Look at my electrician example again. I created a gallery of products made out of his services. Now, compare it with the one that doesn't have a product gallery. If you decide to add products to your panel, all you need to do is log into your Google My Business dashboard. From the left-hand side menu, click on products, then get started. From there, you can create a list of products along with categories. I'm not going to go through a detailed tutorial here as it's pretty self-explanatory, so I'll leave it up to you. Let's now talk about another element you can display in your knowledge panel. One popular question customers ask you and the answer to it. Having one FAQ being displayed on your panel will also increase its size, giving you additional real estate on the page and prevent unnecessary phone calls you might receive from people who would ask that very question. This element also gets added to Google results on mobile phones, which is not to be sniffed at. Unlike other elements, you can't simply add questions and answers to your panel from your Google dashboard since the content of this section is user generated, meaning anyone can post a question and anyone can respond to it. The good news is, as a business owner, you can add questions to your own listing as well as answer them. And that's the first thing you should do. Write down all the FAQs you think will be relevant and useful for your visitors and add them to your profile one by one. But adding questions to your listing alone doesn't mean one of them will automatically be included in your panel. Only the most popular one will be, which is based on the number of likes it receives. Yes, FAQs can be liked and the one that gets the most likes will automatically be integrated in your panel. And here is the other piece of good news. If you are like most businesses, you probably have no FAQs set up, or if you do, none of them have received any likes. Therefore, all you need to do for the FAQ of your choice to display on your panel is A, write it and answer it, and B, like it. It will only take three likes for the FAQ to show up in your knowledge panel. You can like your own FAQ, which means you'll only need another two likes for it to be promoted. Just ask a couple of friends. A few minutes after that, you'll be able to see it in your panel. If you're interested, I have a very short one minute tutorial that goes through the exact process. Let's now talk about reviews, starting with reviews from the web. This element is dynamically added by Google itself to your panel by collecting reviews from up to three third party review sites. In this example, you can see that reviews from Checker Trade, Yelp and Facebook have been integrated to the panel. Generally speaking, Google will add these to your panel if it finds results from review sites for your business on the first page of Google results. And sure enough, you can find all three sites ranking on the first page of Google for this business. If you care about your reputation, you'll want this to show high ratings, meaning you'll have to spend a bit of time collecting positive reviews for these sites, as well as collecting Google reviews. Which leads me to our next element that can be added to your panel, Google review extracts. Once again, this one is automatically added by Google. I'm not 100% certain how Google decides to integrate these, but it would seem you'd need to get a certain number of reviews before Google decides to show an extract of some of them and for them to contain enough written content so it can be extracted. The way to influence this is simply by collecting reviews from your customers regularly and to make sure you deliver outstanding services so you get a high rating and eventually they will show up in your panel. It's well worth it as these extracts will also be displayed in mobile results. Let's have a look at our next item, your business description. This one is an easy one, yet many business owners skip it. In your Google My Business dashboard under the info section, you can add a short description of your business using up to 750 characters. Think of it like the about us page of your website. Once you've written a description and saved it, the first few lines will be added to your panel and visitors can read all of it by clicking on the more option. Okay, we're almost there. The next element I'm going to cover would warrant an entire video in itself, but I'm going to make it short and sweet for today at least. We're talking about Google Posts. Google Posts are an easy way to publish content directly on your panel to communicate an offer, promote an event, or simply talk about a product or a service that you sell. Google Posts are very visual 
and can include a photo, a video, and a link. Using Google Posts is another chance to enhance your panel and share important information with your visitors. They are simple to use and can be created from your Google My Business dashboard. On the left-hand side menu, click on Posts. From there, you should see all the options available to you. Google Posts will also be very visible in search results on mobile, so make sure you use them. The last thing I want to talk about are social media profile icons, which can be included in your panel under Profile. This is another element Google will insert automatically into your knowledge panel if it can associate your business with your social media accounts. There isn't a silver bullet to make this happen and the best approach is to make it easy for Google to make the connection. One of the easiest ways to do this is to add links to your social media profiles on all the pages of your website, including your homepage. Name consistency between your social media profiles and your business will also help a great deal. You should now be able to turn a basic local business panel from something like this into a much more attractive customer focused version like this one. By doing this, you will also increase your overall visibility on mobile phones since Google includes many of the features I have talked about directly in search results. A lot of what I've covered is very easy to implement, so don't waste any more time and start doing it today. If you think this video was useful, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you want to see more videos like this one, and if you have any questions, post them in the comments below. Until next time, happy marketing.